Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and unfortunately, we are back with our NHL 15 Be a Pro series following Rick DiPietro and the New York Islanders. So, if you watched last episode, uh, you guys saw that I went pretty insane. Yeah, I, uh, I went a bit insane on that thing. Just because of those four goals letting up by the Dallas Stars, the bullshit that was no goaltender interference, the Gar Snow issue of him being a terrible GM and not trading away any of our players, kind of just drove me over the edge to officially announce that Be a Pro was probably one of the worst game modes that uh, probably was built in this game. But whatever, you guys still do want me to finish this series, or at least keep going with it. We'll keep going as far as we can until I bust my TV by throwing my control into it, I guess. So, uh, as you guys can tell, there's been a couple new updates with the game since I last played and be a pro-wise. I know there was something that they changed to be a pro-wise where it was like the shootout camera and the like coaching options were blocking it away. I don't know what that was all about because I've never been in the shootout, so I couldn't really see that. And plus, I'm a goaltender, so it shouldn't affect me as a skater. And as you guys can see here on the play of the next game, I'm not sure if this comes up in the calendar or not. I'll check it out when our next game comes. But as you guys can see here, when you do the simulate game on that little icon with the two teams, you can see a little goaltender, I guess, logo pop up right there next to play next game, which shows you that you are going to be starting that night. So that's kind of cool, I guess. So our next game here is going to be up against the Montreal Canadiens at home. And uh, we do have 867 points available because we did win that game. We still have nothing over 300, which means... We can't upgrade anything. If we get a win here, maybe we can upgrade it. But technically, we're supposed to be 111 and 111 and something. But 111 and 4, I think. But now we're going to be 210 and 4. So, obviously, this is not an accurate record. But we're just going to continue to play with this Islanders team that's going to stick it through to the end here. And have to wait for the overall jumps, I guess. Hopefully, they do overall jumps and be a pro. Wouldn't surprise me if they didn't, but I'm just saying I hope to God that they do. And they should, because I've seen players getting better uh, throughout the year on our team anyway. So uh, I should be expected to see that uh, players will be getting a little bit better. So the Montreal Canadiens, a pretty decent team. The Islanders, a very suckish team as uh, in comparison. But here we go. Nassau Coliseum here against the Montreal Canadiens. Let's see who's going to be starting in that. Uh, more than likely, I don't think they would start Price. I think you're either going to see Budai or Tukarski in that. I would love to see uh, Dustin Tukarski get a start here, but I probably think it will be Budai. But Johnny T, 62 points on the year. That's probably one of the only bright spots about this team so far this year. So Rick DiPietro, 2-10-4, 3.12 goals against average, 0.821 save percentage. Should be 1-11-4, but I'm not going to complain. That is not my business. And in net for the Montreal Canadiens is going to be Peter Budai, 6-6 six six with 2.39 save percentage of 0.918. One shutout. It's actually not a bad uh, spread for Budai, who's only 6-6. Six and six. His record's not the greatest, but his stats are actually pretty good. All right, here we go. Back in the net for this freaking game. Let's see if this Islanders defense can do something here. I might try something uh, really, really uh, weird this game. I'm going to try a conservative offense and a, I think, what was it? A, uh, no, no. Uh, a neutral zone trap and a conservative offensive pressure with uh, close support on the breakouts. So we'll see how that does. We have four guys in the neutral zone now. I think we're only going to be pressing up one guy on the uh, offensive zone, which is going to be interesting to see how that does. And already got two saves already on the board. Watch the cross creases again. And glove save by DiPietro. Throw it out to Vizhnowski, who's right there. Close support. And Conacher. Back to the point to the Honda. A nice little up pass there to over to Ocpozo. Toe drags and we'll dump it in. Very nicely done. All right, and ooh, tried to uh, tried to cut it off there, but Galchenyuk will get this. Alex Galchenyuk, the newest uh, Vancouver Canuck. Uh, and they're going to go for a line change, which gives an easy out for Calvin DeHaan over to Tavares, over to Conacher. Conacher looking for a deke. Tries to deke to the middle. Makes three Montreal Canadiens. Oh, Vizhnovsky. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If he would have passed that earlier. He did a stupid move there. If he just passed it instead of doing a move when there was nobody there, he had an easy uh, cross crease over to uh, 
to one, whoever was open over there. I couldn't really tell who it was. All right, uh, Renee Bork out in front. Oh, but Di Pietro wakes the save. Nicely done. I had freaking, uh, who was that? Who was that? The Han right in my grill. I hit him, but I did make the save. All right, so I knew the cross crease was coming. I had to get over for it. I had to get over for it. Right, so we're going to get a uh, defensive zone face-off here. Last time we're 4-5-1, so, you know, the Islanders are playing better, I guess you could say. Nielsen is going to take the face-off, gets the win. And Donovan, you want to get that out? Oh, Jesus Christ, Donovan. I'm covering that. Okay, didn't mean to dish it out. And that's my own fault. That's my own fault. That is my own fault. I will take blame for that. I shouldn't have dished that out. I didn't want to dish it out. I... Something in my mind told me that I wanted to hug the post there. That is my own damn fault. I take it, all the blame for that. We'll take all the blame for that. I think I did, think I did touch it or stop it a tad. Uh, no, it went off the post and then I can't hear the audio. All right, so that's my own fault. Lars Eller, Lars Eller will get the goal off of uh, an assist by Brandon Prost because uh, Rick DiPietro is an idiot. I don't know. I didn't think I had the puck there. I thought the whistle was called. It's just my instinct when I'm right there to hold the post, you know. It's instinct. But whatever. Shake it off. Shake it off. We don't worry about it. We don't worry about this. Islanders team does look to be doing pretty well with a neutral zone trap. You know, they, they look like they're playing a little bit different, honestly, up uh, at least at the blue line. Trapping them in there. Uh, Clutterbuck, ooh, tried to get a shot. Didn't get all of it, though. Actually, he didn't even get the shot off. All right, Hickey over to Clutterbuck. Clutterbuck will enter the zone. Cal Clutterbuck uh, is waiting for it. Back skating. Poke checked off by Tom Gilbert. Over to Moen again. Moen with a saucer pass over to Weiss. Nice play, though, by Donovan. And Franz Nielsen will take this puck in. Being pursued by Eller. Nice pat, or nice little move there from Nielsen. Gilbert will get it back, though. Over to Weiss. Up to Lars Eller. All right, here's Eller again. Toe drag. Don't let him through. Vizhnowski gets it out over to Conacher. There you go. Iconicer, oh, walks right through. He's tripped up, and uh, that will be a incoming penalty. Uh, no, they're not calling the penalty on that. Are you serious right now? This ref is absolutely serious. There was no penalty on that play. He was on his knees. No penalty called. All right, ref. It's going to be one of those games. The ref is going to be blind as a bat. Yep, there was no penalty on that play. Wow. All right, Montreal paid off the refs this game. All right, here's Metinen. Uh, Metinen, and oh wow, that was a hard ass shot. I think from Eller again. Yeah, Eller's on fire today, apparently. All right, Johnny T. Johnny T, walk in. Oh, man, Tavares, if he could have just back into that. Ooh. If he would have back into that top cheese, I uh, probably would have gone and taken a shower. All right, Metin in. Yeah, let's let him walk right in. Prust, ooh, trying to go for the short side on me, I see. Kuhlman does get it up to Nielsen here with 10 seconds left here in the first. Over to Grabner, does enter the zone. Deke again. McBain does cut it off. Mechanics will take it off. Over to Gallagher. Across the center ice, and that will do it for the first period. So we could have a nothing to nothing uh, game here, but Rick DiPietro's uh, forgetfulness of him having the puck and dishing it out almost right away will lead to the Montreal Canadiens taking a one to nothing lead early in this game. But a solid first period, though, from DiPietro, other than that bad play that uh, dishing the puck out, you can shake it off. A one nothing lead for the Canadiens after the first six to five on the shots. Islanders do look like they are playing a little bit better defensively. I will say that, though. They're making the Canadians take those weird, take the far out shots, like from the uh, coming into the zone a little bit. The neutral zone trap does look pretty good. I think they are going to upgrade our offensive pressure. they press a little bit more here in the second period. Still want to keep that neutral zone trap, but we want to keep the, uh, we want to press them up a bit. And that should be a penalty on Pacioretty, but of course it's not going to be. McBain's going to walk right in, and oh my god, I make the save. Because I was in the stupid animation glove save there on the re on another shot there from uh, number 15, who's at Placanics probably. So Rick DiPietro makes the save. I was in another crazy animation because my speed is just so slow. Oh, my God. Yep, there we go again with that stupid-ass poke check. You know, you guys saw that. Oh, man. Oh, man, I made the glove off the paddle and then off the post. Not off the paddle, off my blocker and off the post. Man, like I said, they need to take out that manual poke check. It's Good it's very annoying sometimes. Uh, Subban gets run into it, though by Conacher, who will get the puck out over to Tavares. All right, Johnny T, make a move. There you go, dump it in. It's a good play. Akpozo, uh, nobody covering him. Back behind the net. Oh, man, tried for a 1-T clap bomb. Dahan keeps it in. Akpozo, turn around, back to the point. Vizhnowski gets shot blocked, though, by number 17, which was Rene Bork. And Bork back over to Subban, over to Brendan Gallagher. Taken off the puck, though, by Akpozo. Gives it back to Tavares. 
Johnny T into the zone. Dumps it around the back again. Another nice four check there by Conacher. Dish Tried to dish it back on the way there. Lacanic will get it up to Subban, who will uh, try to go back to the center again. Kyle Poso with another nice block there. Goes back into the zone. Nice feed. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Peter Budai flashing the leather. Whew. That's John Tavares, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. That was a save and a half by Peter Budai on John Tavares with a one-knee clap bomb. Oh, man, look at him flash the leather on that. Man, oh, man. That was an intense save there from B Peter Budai to keep this at a one to nothing game. My goodness. Man, that was, that's John Tavares taking a shot, too. There's nothing to mess around about that. That's a very good save. Even though it looked like he shot it right at him. Still, Grabner, nice forecheck. Back to the point to DeHaan. Back over to Vizhnowski. Feeds it up front. Oh, man. Uh, Five-hole save there on a, a little nice little uh, backdoor cross crease to Grabowski. All right, DeHaan back into our zone. Get, dishes it back up to Grabowski, though. Kuhlman goes into the zone. Cooley. Cooley shot. Oh, tried to go for a glove side shot on Budai, who doesn't appear to have the best glove because he dropped that right to the right, right to the ice. Grabowski went for checking in. I think Grabner was there, too. But Budai does make the save. Yep, this press offense right now. See, this neutral zone trap press offense seems to be working pretty well for the Islanders. I might remember that for next game, too. All right, Clutterbuck. Clutterbuck back in front. Oh, man, cross crease. Blocker save, though, by Budai. Back in front to Skilly. Back to Nielsen. Oh, tries to go for a short side. Shot again. Clutterbuck still has it. Oh, tried to trickle right behind Budai. But he will come off the post and make the save behind him. And the Islanders are pressing here. They're pressing here in the zone. I'm liking it. Keeping this third line out there, too. Nielsen looking to win the faceoff again. Gets pushed, but does. Oh, man. Subban with a big hit. Nielsen. Oh, tried to dish it out over to Clutterbuck, but it is taken off by the Canadians. And Travis Moen goes over to Weiss. Weiss will dump it around. And bouncing puck. Skilly does a nice job to get that right out to Donovan, too. Matt Donovan over to the wing to Cal Clutterbuck. And he will dump it around the back again. Nice little play there. Nielsen. Oh, man. Big shoulder block there. That's a good hit by P.K. Subban. That's a big hit by Subban. Uh, he's pressing up into the zone. Here's Moen. Travis Moen. Moen in front. Oh, tried to go over to Subban again. Weiss. Moen. Moen. Uh, I'm dishing back. Ah, fucker. I hate that, man. When I'm moving back and forth like that, I can't. I don't know what they're doing. Because he turned back, and then he dished it back in front again. It's a good play. Dishing back and forth. Dale Weiss gets a goal. Yeah, the grinders. Chippy grinders, I guess, of the Macho Canadians. Yeah, see, that's a... Uh, that's a good play there. Ah, notifications. Yeah, fuck off. Whatever. Whatever, yeah. It's a, oh, look. At, <laughs> it did it again. It did it again. I Maybe I shouldn't blame that on myself because I, I will say I was out of position a little bit, but then again, it did it again. Look at that. The saucer pass coming in, and look at that. He makes the glove. He's going for the glove save before the shot is even coming here. Once again, it's EA Sports just needs to stop this. They need to freaking stop that. They need to stop putting the animations in automatically right away before the shot is even coming there. I, I'm wondering if I can turn that off. I don't think I could turn it off here. We might be able to, though. Uh, let's see. Gameplay settings. Goaltenders. Goalie cover frequency, no. Goalie passing, goalie reaction speed, no. It's not going to be under rules. Uh, no, it's not going to be under that. It might be in my, it might be in my, uh, like the settings, like when you don't play a game. We'll have to go check, but yeah, it's another one of those stupid goals where the animation just kills us there. The glove save automatically just going for a glove save before the puck is even there. And just like that, the Canadians let's take a two to nothing lead. All right, Kyle Pozo and the Islanders are playing well. They're playing well right now. Oh, oh, all right. See, talk them up. They're playing well. Calvin DeHaan with a shot from the point. I think Budai was screened like a mofo there. I think he had like two or three bodies right in front of him. Calvin DeHaan does get a shot on net far side. Slap shot will get the goal there from Vizhnovsky and the Kyle Pozo. Yeah, he left him open wide open at the point. Just a nice little slap shot there from Calvin DeHaan. We'll get that goal. Nice goal. From DeHaan, you going to follow the path of the puck? Yes, we are. Uh, no, you know what? I think he just missed it. I think that was just a really decent shot there by DeHaan. Budai was well, well out, out of his net. He was past the freaking, uh, past the paint out of his crease. I guess he just couldn't anticipate that shot. DeHaan will get the goal, and it is now a 2-1 to one game. Still in favor of the Montreal Canadiens. All right, here's Alex Galchenyuk. 
And Galchenyuk does, I believe I got a save on that. And oh, thank you, TJ Brennan. TJ Brennan blocks that shot for the cross crease. And uh, you know what? He probably saved another goal there because that was a goal coming. Uh, Galchenyuk again, watch the cross crease. Nope, nope, he's going for those weird ass pucks again. And just those passes in front of the net that look like shots. And you know, my goaltender just can't, can't handle it. All right, Tavares, nice play. Over to Akpozo. He's actually playing a good game. Akpozo, I'll give it to him. He's not taking penalties. He's not doing anything that stupid so far this game. So he's playing a decent game. All right, here's Galchenyuk again. Galchenyuk, oh, tried to go back to the point to Gilbert. And oh, is, is Grabowski on sides? He is on sides. Grabowski, nobody there. Vizhnowski hops off the bench, though. Tries to dish it out in front. And uh, oh, here's Galchenyuk and Gallagher. Galchenyuk and Gallagher. Oh, <laughs> good stop there by Lubavir Vizhnowski to keep this at another. Keep the stolen one goal game. They were going for a cross crease again. Vizhnowski did cut it off. Good defensive play there. And that'll do it for the second period. So the Islanders did look like they were pressing a lot here in this uh, second period by a good bit. Yeah, that, that weak goal there, we led up to uh, Dale Weiss. But the Islanders did manage to get one back for us in that uh, in that period to make it a 2-1 to one game still. See, we went to go cover it, and uh, our defenseman there got in the way. So Vizhnowski, oh, did I, uh, did I already do the box? Oh, well, I'll do the box score really quickly before we get started. So 10 to 12 on shots, uh, hits, obviously, five minutes of timeout attack in favor of the Islanders. Passing in favor of us, face-offs are even. So it's a fairly even game so far, but uh, it's still only down by one. We're only down by one. We can definitely come back. We can get one goal here. So we'll still keep it up at press, but if, the ten, if we get to, like, the 10-minute mark, and it was still a one goal game. We're going to have to start going for a full four, full on four check for the Islanders. At least we'll come the 10 minute mark. All right. If we still have a two goal game, that is. Uh, another nice little block in front. Uh, nice play. Nice play, Calvin DeHaan. See, DeHaan, and oh man, that's a hit in the back. No penalty on that. Okay. Tavares drops it back to Conquer. Nice give and go. Ooh, Johnny T tried to go short side on Blue Dye. Shoulder save, though. Uh, dish there on back in the neck. Alchenyuk back over to Markov. Gets it out over to Pay P. A. Parento. Over to Max Pacioretty in the center. Goes for. Uh, oh, all right, Galchenyuk making one too many moves there. Another good play there from Galvin Dehan to get that up to the wing to Conacher. Tries to go right in front. And, ooh, tried for a five-hole shot. Conacher gets a rebound again. Oh, tried to dish it up front. Talk Pozo, but too much of a bouncing puck. And they can't control it. McBain over to Parento again. Okay, Parento out there for a long-ass shift. We'll dump it in. I think one of my guys is there. No, he didn't read it right, but that's fine. Uh, what is what is Johnny T doing? I know uh, Johnny T. I know I love you, but you should go for a line change. You don't need to hug me. Grabner over to Coolman. Ooh, that's a big save there by Budai again. Grabner in in front tries for a shot, taken off by Subban though. Emlin will take it, and Alexi Emlin over to Renee Bork. Renee Bork stops up and uh, drop it back. Hickey will grab it. Around the back of the net, over to the wing to Kuhlman. Nice play. Cooley will take it into the zone. Back to the back to Grabowski, and Donovan will take it. Back to Grabner again, out in front to Kuhlman. Uh, Grabner gets it back, though. Dished out in front. Oh, Mikhail Grabowski back here, just wide. Oh, cross crease in front to Grabner. Misses it again. Placanics dumps it around the back for Subban. Subban up to Emlin. All right, now we got to start going for up. Oh, we are, are, are on full four check. I guess the coaching thing must do it for us. That's perfectly fine. All right, get it off him. There you go, Grabner. There you go. Get it up. Go, Grabner. Go. Use that speed. Use that speed, buddy. Uh, Grabner still has it. And cross crease. Cross crease. Oh, man. Gets a hit on the play. And Budai will dish it out. Bork will take it, though. Here's Renee Bork up the wing, and he's going to go off sides. All right, 6-17 here. The Islanders are definitely bringing the pressure here in the third period. Budai is making some clutch saves, though. Once again, we're making another backup goaltender look like a goddamn superstar. Saving off cross creases, saving shots on the New York Islanders in this third period. He's doing a good job, man. That was a nice little play, give and go from uh, John Tavares. That was a nice play. I respect that. I respect that play. Sometimes the computer AI does do some good things. That one was a very good uh, play, I will admit. All right, 7.16 left. We need to keep control of ourselves here in this game. Buckle down defensively. Oh, man, referee, you're not going to call anything on that. Horkov back in front of Weiss. Around in front, and... Oh, my God. Did that go in? Yeah, it went in. I don't understand how a cross-crease goal like that goes in. Travis Moen, Dale Weiss, 
and Lars Eller get the goals so far this game. Like, I can't do anything there. I cannot, cannot, cannot do anything there. I have to hold the post because, ugh, man, like, that's such a trashy goal. To, that's such a trashy goal to score, too. That's such a trashy, trashy goal. We just, like, dishes it out in front. I have to hold the post here. And, yeah, because I'm too far in my net. It just barely squeaks in. Just barely squeaks in. Looks like the Canadians are going to win this game. Travis fucking Moen scores with 6.08 left. Pretty much just squashed the dreams of the New York Islanders in this game. They played very well. I will give them that. The Islanders played really well this game. But once again, it's another case of that of an, uh, just a backup goaltender just completely robbing us. Like last game, too, Drew McIntyre or whatever. Not Drew McIntyre against that Carolina Hurricanes game. Oh, Tavares. See, it's just bad luck. There's a, there's an opportunity there to get the goal, and they can't get it through. They cannot get it through. Them. Uh, yeah, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch a highlight reel from that asshole. Thank you very much, EA Sports. I know you guys love sucking his dick, but that's perfectly that's perfectly fine. Not with me, though. All right, and once again, we set up with the fourth line up there with four minutes left in the third, down by two. Yeah, you know, makes zero sense sometimes. Paranto back to Galchenyuk. Galchenyuk, Paranto tries for a short side shot, block it out in front. Get off the post. All right, Nielsen, or Brock Nelson over to Eric Bolton. Still don't know why we have this fourth line out right now. Matt Martin. Matt Martin looking for something. Uh, Martin back to Bolton, but a fugazi shot. And Brock Nelson shot and gets tipped out in front again. I got to wait for got to wait for Capuano to call me to the bench. Budai's going to call it. I think he'll be calling me now. I'm going to head over. Nah, it's... Still a little bit too early in this game, which is stupid. They should call. They should pull the goaltender right about now. If I were, if I were a real NHL coach, and if I was EA Sports, you know, empty net. All right, cool. Uh, but Subban did grab it. Uh, so here's Galchenyuk. Got to stay in. Got to stay in. They're coming back though. Uh, okay, now we. Oh, delayed penalty. All right, now we got a four. Now we got to stay in. Unfortunately. He's still going to call us to the bench, but that's a stupid move on my part uh, to go to the bench on a uh, on a two-minute power on a power play kill. Ugh, we made the saves there, which I was I'm surprised about. John Tavares, yep, he's going to go. I'll make my way over just to please the gods. You guys can score an empty netter on us. That's perfectly fine because the Islanders are not going to forecheck. Here's ours. Eller over to Placanix and Disher right in the center of the net. That's a goal, 4-1 to one win for the Montreal Canadiens, it looks like, and that'll do it for this game. Once again, the Islanders played well. They played well. I can't, I can't, I can't say that enough. They played well. A couple flimsy goals we went, let in, but, you know, that's how this game works sometimes. Peter Budai. Peter Budai. He had good stats, you know. You guys saw it. He had good stats this year. He had some good stats for a 6-6 six six goal. He's been playing well. The Canadians deserve the win, I guess. They deserve the win. Their goaltender saved it for him. And once again, just one goal four for the New York Islanders. One goal four. Brandon over to Karkner. Any last minute? Oh, all right, Grabner. What a nice little deke there the last couple seconds. Grabowski, Karkner, Grabner blocked. Last minute shot, Kuhlman tipped Budai with the save. And that'll do it for this game as the Montreal Canadiens do defeat the New York Islanders by a final score of 4-1 to one with an empty netter. Empty netter, Rick DiPietro does let three goals in on, I believe, maybe 15 shots. Yes, indeedy. Islanders put up 22, but Peter Budai stops 21 of 22. And uh, he, he does get the win. So our save percentage that game, I think, is not the greatest. It is a .785, 11 for 14. 11 for 14 that we let up. So that's how the cookie is going to crumble, I guess. So, once again, like, I can't help it. I can't help it. You need, you need goal scoring to win games. You need goal scoring to win games. And when the team just doesn't give it to you, you can't win games. Honestly, I cannot remember the last episode or last uh, game that I have played where this Islanders team got me more than two goals a game. Honestly, I can't remember that. More than two. They've gotten me two on some occasions, but I honestly cannot remember the last time this team got me more than two goals a game. Cannot remember when I was in that. 
That'll be the tail of the tape come uh, come the, I guess, the offseason or whatever. I guess the analysts. It's going to be, they're talking about it night after night after night on the uh, New York Islanders sports broadcasts. Rick DiPietro gets his league-leading uh, 12th regulation or 11th regulation loss of the year because of the lack of goal, sco goal support for him. So, I know. That one, I'm not counting that one anyway, so who cares? But, uh, no, it doesn't pop up on here. It only pops up on the, uh, the uh, I guess, the thing here. So, well, it could be co carry over to the next month, too, but I doubt it. So, we'll just continue to sim some games here. We'll see who our next opponent is going to be. Hamannick's coming back to the roster. We beat the Blackhawks. How? <laughs> I don't know how the hell the New York Islanders just beat the Chicago Blackhawks. That is ridiculous, if you ask me. Ay, 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 this team. They're a good team when they're, when DiPietro's not in that. Because, you know, they get they go to, they get goal support for Halak. I got to start talking with uh, Euroslav for a bit. I got to talk to... Uh, I got to see what he's telling the team in front of him. Because apparently they can't get goal, goal support for me, but they can get easily goal support for Euroslav Halak. But whatever. All right, so continue to sim some games here. They, so they lost to the... They lost to that team they just played. I forget who it was. Uh, Minnesota Wild. Let's see, they're going to beat Mini. Well, we could have a shitty enough record to maybe go for the Connor McDavid sweepstakes, so we should just continue to lose some games here. Why not? We're playing tough teams, too, so I don't expect us to get starts. Alright, same that game against the LA Kings. Just got to look at their records and see if we are going to get a start or not. Uh, commission for a while. Yeah, it won't impact your role, I know. Uh, lost there to the LA Kings. Nope, not that game against the Ducks either. Maybe. Nope, not that game against the Ducks. Uh, we could possibly get the year done. The year could be over soon. Yeah, it's 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 pretty close to the end of the year. Detroit, we might... Uh, no, we're not playing that game against Detroit either. We might get... I think Buffalo's a good team in this simulation, so we might get uh, uh, Karkner's back to active duty. Woohoo! All right, I think we're going to get this game against Columbus because they're under 500. We're probably getting this game against the Blue Jackets. I can, I can guarantee you that we're going to get this game right here. I can guarantee you that. And... Uh, no, we are not getting that game against the Blue Jackets. Wow, that's kind of surprising. I was kind of expecting to get that game against the Blue Jackets. Well, apparently not. We'll keep simulating here. Uh, Buffalo, we probably get this game against the Sabres. We probably get this game against the Sabres. Uh, no, we do not. Wow. All right. I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess Capuano has had it up to here with my shit, so he's he's sitting DiPietro pretty much for the, pretty much the rest of the year. Halak's going hard to the paint right now. All right, they get a win there. Fill it three games left, so he could possibly... We might get the last game of the year. We might get the last game of the year. Yeah, so the season's almost over. So we did make it through one season here. Yep, the Philly, we're not going to play that game. Not going to play that game. Pittsburgh and Columbus to end off the year. Let's see if Rick DiPietro will play one more game before the year is over. This will be a story if we want to try to get our final win. Our first fucking regulation win on the last... Last game of the season against the Columbus Blue Jackets if uh, Capuana gives it to us. Yep, so we're not starting that game against the Pittsburgh Penguins. 27-40-13. And, and we do get that win, and we got one game left here. Was Capuano going to be the nice guy? Is going to give us the start here against the Columbus Blue Jackets? Come on. Come on, Cappy. Give me that game. Give me that start. Come on, give me the start. And... Oh, no, he is not. Jack Capuano is not going to give Rick DiPietro the start, and that'll do it for pretty much the cur the first year number one, the 2014-2015 season back, Rick DiPietro back in the NHL, and that is how he will end his freaking first year as a member of the New York Islanders once again. So we'll take a look at the stats for this team as we are done. We are done the year. We will take a look at the stats for this entire team, and we will check it out. We will check it out, and we will check out probably the whole entire league, too. All right, so we'll check out the forwards here. See how all these guys did throughout the year. So point totals, 
For the year, are as such, John Tavares led, the, led our team in points with 72 points, had a 40-goal season, so Johnny T had a very good year. Uh, Kyle, still, uh, you expect him to get a bump point a game player, but still, he only missed two games throughout the year, so Johnny John Tavares was a pretty healthy player throughout the year. Uh, with his, he's had his fair share of injuries in the past, past, but he only missed two games this year, which is good. Ocpozo had 54 points, uh, 36 assists. So that's not bad, I guess. Franz Nielsen almost had 50 points, so that's pretty good for him, especially considering he's a third liner. So he got 50 points. That's pretty good. He had some time up there. Played every game this season, so that's good for uh, Franz Nielsen. Grabner with 40 points as well. Uh, Grabowski had 35. Uh, Conacher had 33 on that first line. So, yeah, there's the problem right there on the first line. You need a better first-line winger than Corey Conacher. He's not your first-line left winger. I mean, Ocpozo, yes, and John Tavares, yes, but you need another player there. Uh, Conacher's not going to be that guy. Nielsen, maybe. Grabner, maybe, but it's not going to be Corey Conacher. Nikolai Kuhlman, uh, I guess he got hurt at the end of the year. 27 points for him. Cal Clutterbuck with 19. Matt Martin with 17. Brock Nelson with 15. Jack Skilly with 15. Eric Bolton with 7. Casey Zizekas played uh, 13 games here in the early season. Did get uh, six points. Probably should have left him in for most of the year. Anders Lee, uh, one goal, one assist in 15 games for him. And that is it for the forward lineup. Uh, I didn't want to switch to the New York Rangers. All right, check out the defenseman here. All right, uh, Calvin DeHaan had a pretty good year for him. 34 points in 82 games. Uh, Ludovic Vizhnowski had 27. Havnik had 23. Donovan had 10, Matt Karkner with 7, Thomas, Thomas Hickey with 7, and TJ Brennan with 5. And then for the goaltenders this year, Yuroslav Halak played. He played 66 games for the Islanders, had a 2.69 goals against average, went 26, 30, and 7. And then Rick DiPietro obviously went uh, 18 games, played a 3.1. 1-9, so 3.12 goals against average, 2-11, and 11, not the greatest regulation uh, regulation season stats for Rick DiPietro, but we'll get there in time, as you guys can see, that's why he's not the greatest, 3 stars for reflexes, 2.5 for puck control, and 3.5 for athletic, that's why we struggled this year with some of our goals, hopefully we'll get a nice little booster next year and we'll be a little bit better, save percentage, 0 0.82, we still didn't get up to the point for the 0.9 that he wanted, one point, uh, point nine one four for Halak. Halak had two shutouts on the year, nothing for Di Pietro, and Halak did have uh, one, one point. It did have a uh, one, num one point for the uh, New York Islanders. All right, so that's that. Uh, team standings. Let's check out the team standings and see where the New York Islanders ended up in the entire NHL, and let's see if they possibly could be in the running for Connor McDavid. So the New York Rangers actually won the President's Trophy this year with 118 points. These are all the teams that are going to be making the playoffs. So the Rangers, the Maple Leafs, the Kings, the Senators had a very good year. Tampa Bay, the Wild, Jersey, Nashville, Colorado, Chicago, Arizona, Dallas Stars, Philadelphia Flyers, Anaheim Ducks, the Canadians, the Panthers made the playoffs with 86 points. And anybody else down here? No, it's not. And the New York Islanders finished with 69 points, which is the lowest in the NHL, which means they could be in the running for Connor McDavid. So Connor McDavid could soon be a member of this New York Islanders team if we still have a first round pick. Yes, if the Islanders still have a first round pick. I don't know how drafting works in this. But technically, I don't think the Islanders have a first-round pick this year because I think it belongs to Buffalo. And Buffalo finished just as bad. So Buffalo could get it. I think that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure that's how it was. Um, but I didn't want to go back to team stats. So um, this might be a long episode because I actually i am curious to see what happens next with our player let's see if there's anything we can upgrade uh we do have 300 points so you know what? i am going to upgrade some stats here 330 to upgrade uh we can upgrade one thing we can upgrade our i do want to kind of get that five hole up but i'll upgrade my angles we can upgrade one thing at one thing in each category i guess puck control we are going to upgrade our rebound control for god's sakes Please, please, please upgrade our rebound control. And then the athletic category, we're going to get our... We can get aggressiveness, agility, endurance, vision. Uh, let's get our... Let's get our vision up. There we go. All right, so we're still at a 71 overall, but we did increase uh, one stat in one point in each of our categories, so that's good. 
And uh, let's see. Simulate simulate day. We'll see what happens here. We're going to get the NHL regular season has ended. Okay. Maybe if you... If, okay. Review of the end of the season trophy recipients and rankings. Maybe if we had another 10 games or so, you could have made it. You got to 14 for the Calder Memorial Trophy, but we expect top 10. You'll get more bounces next year. Uh, I've spent some time reviewing how you performed this year. At the start of the year, we outlined five expectations for you. You've only achieved one of those. We'd like to see more out of you next year, okay? We have faith you can do it. Well, at least the New York Islanders organization has faith in Rick DiPietro to, to possibly get it done. Uh, 419 points. That's how much we did have uh, previously. I guess we got a couple points, I guess, by getting that, uh, getting those expectations. Got us some more experience. But uh, let's see here. Let's go to the calendar. It's going to be a very long episode, this one. Uh, wow, we lost 8-3 to three in the final. Holy moly. All right, so let's go to May. Let's go to June, which will be the NHL entry draft. Let's simulate all the way up to that date. We'll see if we get any pop-ups along the way. This might take a while, guys, because of the uh, playoff simulation. So I think what I'll do is skip ahead till... Yeah, something pops up, I guess. So we'll we'll simulate here until something pops up. <laughs> 